Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is video number two of today's video reviews from my channel, Troy D247 Mall. Welcome back guys. Now today we are going to talk about a Fragrance Dubois release. Now this one right here, not talked about a lot, but you know, once you remember this name, if you guys are into niche and you have been curious about Fragrance Dubois, you probably heard this name and you're probably like, oh, this one, I really do wanna know about it, especially now, okay? And the reason why I'm bringing it right now is because the climate, the weather, it's perfect in my opinion, right? And also because we do have a large growing female population that's actually part of my subscriber base. Shout outs to the ladies out there. Thank you gals for liking, subscribing, watching, commenting, dropping your two cents. I love it when you gals do that, okay? So this is also for the ladies. Not saying that this is only for the ladies, but definitely uh, our female subscribers are gonna gain something by watching this video right here. Now this fragrance is called Fragrance Dubois Petales de Cashmere, all right, Petales de Cashmere. This one here, uh, I got a few months ago actually, I think from a trade or it was donated to us, uh, I believe by Anthony, I'm not 100%, okay, but I did. I think I did get this from Anthony. Now this right here, Petales de Cashmere, is again, right from the name guys, floral and then cashmere. You know, you think about the cashmere sweater, beautiful, warm and comforting is what you're thinking about when you think about this. And like I told you, this is that time, okay? Fall, winter was the time I was gonna bring this out because it really didn't make much sense uh, talking about this during, I don't know, summer. It didn't make sense, okay? But we are going to talk about Petalis de Cashmere today, guys and gals. Hang on tight, let's hit the music. Okay, we're back guys, Petalis de Cashmere. Florals and Cashmere. Let's go spray this right now. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, Petalis de Cashmere guys. I'm going to talk about what makes this fragrance stand out, okay? The first thing that makes Petalis de Cashmere stand out is that it is airy, okay? It is quite airy airy and it's an absolute feel-good fragrance it is actually close to smelling fresh linens it has that same feel but of course it uses florals okay now on the opening notes you are going to have mandarin orange lovely mandarin orange here guys and then with a touch of grapefruit for me I love the mandarin oranges part. It is bright, it's juicy, and it's really going to create a really strong impact from the get-go. And again, very airy feel. Now, here is the main note really in my opinion, like you have to like this note to like Petalis de Cashmere, and that is violet. Violet is basically the mainstay floral here that comes in right after the opening, and it does come in rather quickly within maybe seven to eight minutes from the opening, the violet starts coming in, okay? And actually it stands by itself for a minute. And so, like I said, if you like violet, then you're gonna like this, okay? But again, the overall feel from opening the oranges and the citrus to the violet, very airy, very bright, makes you think about Holland, you know, those floral fields in Holland, very, Oh, so nice. It's almost like, uh, what's that movie? Sound of Music, <laughs> where that lady was singing uh, on the fields, right? Well, it's sort of like that. It's very airy, very bright. That's sort of the initial feel that you'll get with Petalis de Cashmere. Now the violet stands on itself maybe for 15 to 20, maybe even 30 minutes, guys, okay? And then, of course, you know, in true Fragrance Dubois fashion, it's gonna be a little bit, they're gonna twist it a little bit, you know? They're gonna make it a little bit more complex. You're gonna have a couple notes here that will kind of change things a bit. First things first is Jasmine. So Jasmine is going to be a nice, steady background actor here. And once you smell the Jasmine, it's not just gonna be just the violet. You're actually 
thinking of yourself, like I said, smelling that floral field. It's not just violet. You're going to get nice whiffs of jasmine right here. And then there's also caraway. Caraway is basically, it's not cumin, but it's actually, it smells like licorice. Okay. It does smell like licorice here. And once it is added here, it adds an extra dimension to the violet. Okay. So you got the nice violet jasmine. I'm out in the fields and then you've got that twist of caraway like I said a little bit of that licorice anise type scent right in there that kind of changes things so you know you're not smelling uh, simplistic type of uh, fragrance so definitely nice caraway right here now the big thing I do like about Patalis de Cashmere is that it feels like an entire day has gone okay it starts off with that bright wake up and that airy outdoor scenario sort of like in the middle of the floral fields like sound of music and you're singing and you're in the middle of flowers you know so it's like that's sort of like the initial feeling of petalis de cashmere but then there's also a part where it gets warm and cozy you know it's 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 nice especially for this type of weather you know you can't just have bright it actually shifts to something warm and cozy. And that's care of a couple of notes, guys. That's care of the saffron and the rose, all right? So we're still at the mid part of Petalis de Cashmere. In comes some spicy saffron, warming it in, adding some spice, guys. So there is some saffron to warm it in. And of course, you got rose. And the rose here is not a jammy rose. It's actually a semi-dark type of rose. And again, this rose goes well with the saffron. And we've seen a lot of that. In in other perfumes guys where that's actually it like a lot of the fall winter rose fragrances they do start with rose and saffron so in this case guys rose and saffron is that added dimension on the mid that's sort of like it it's like a sunset you know what I mean it's like okay the bright day is over and then here comes the sunset all right it's starting to get warm and cozy as it is getting cold outside so that's basically what you're gonna get saffron and rose as a nice bridge right at the mid notes so towards the dry down guys as it bridges to warm and cozy of course petalis de cashmere finishes it off with that cashmere wood blend okay it is i mean to me it's called a cashmere wood accord i mean this has been used by many perfumers when they make this thing where you have something powdery velvety uh, almost uh, feels like a cashmere sweater okay and of course if you've been watching my videos previously on the fall winter hits you know I talk about cashmere wood a lot especially if it's in those fragrances so anyways here the cashmere wood blend comes in and that's basically powdery musk and sandalwood okay so it gets kind of furry fluffy powdery cashmere like guys and that basically happens maybe like an hour an hour and a half in and it's really nice and comfy guys again Perfect setup from the warming saffron and rose and then the furry fluffy cashmere comes in thanks to the sandalwood as well as the powdery musk. Now another great finisher that Fragrance Dubois added here is olibanum incense. Okay, so the incense here is actually a nice finisher because this fragrance to me is very picturesque you know like when you when you spray it on yourself you really like i said you do feel like you are in the middle of those floral fields really really nice but then boom warming and then cozy with a cashmere sweater and then you got this swirl of magic this swirl of incense guys towards the dry down okay so it, it's a nice finisher most fragrances would not even add that you know it would just add with something woody and musky and then that's it but in this case guys one of the pluses here with patalis de cashmere is that they got the swirling incense here pretty much near or towards the dry down all the way and that is i mean i gotta give them plus points for adding that incense here makes it completely magical until the end for me this is the weather to wear this guys okay it's basically daytime cold weather that is for me the best time because it is a mix of elements of bright uplifting airy and then comforting later in the end okay so i think that this is the best time not summer not spring i think it's like right now fall winter daytime is the best time to wear this as well as you know ac events 
If you are a lady, I think AC events is also, you know, air conditioned events where you show up is one of the best times to wear this. I think that this is very appealing for the women, okay? Because really, a lot of the notes here, violet, jasmine, uh, they do lean more femme. I mean, it's something that you kind of expect from uh, you know smelling a lady in my opinion so i think this is a win for the ladies if you decide to buy this and again the plus side here is the cashmere side that velvety powdery fluffy comforting side is also another plus here for the ladies i mean for the guys yeah i mean it's not completely feminine because the florals are not just left out there actually in the end you see that cashmere wood accord come in and catch it as a nice base and so it's not completely feminine but again if you're a guy i think that you have to like violet you know because violet is the floral the floral that really represents this entire thing everything else is sort of like a you know supporting cast agent like the jasmine the rose is for the warming side but really it's violet right here guys okay pops out within minutes of the opening stays there pretty long so you have to like violet in my opinion to like this one right here uh, and it's it's quite a risk if you're a guy I think but let me know if you're a guy that likes Petalis de cashmere okay if you really like this let me know in the comments I would love to know what you think. What's your opinion, okay? Does this lean more femme or masculine? For me, leans more femme. Can be worn by a guy, but leans more femme. Also like the way that this blasts out. I mean, a lot of y'all will probably mistake this for iris, you know, like an iris type scent because there is a powdery aspect of it, but it's really that cashmere wood blend. It's really that sandalwood and that musk. But a lot of y'all that are probably iris lovers, if you like iris, you might like this fragrance. It has, like I said, that powdery blast. And while you're wearing it, I mean, really the effect is that it smells very clean very airy like clean linens like i said and of course floral can't deny this is a floral fragrance right here so it's floral airy and clean all right and powdery so that's what you can expect with the um how this fragrance beams out okay siage here is pretty great guys i mean i would say aura four feet something like that and of course the longevity in my opinion is around five hours okay five hours of solid time which is more than enough guys in my opinion okay price wise guys this fragrance is on the upper tier definitely but this is one of those that encompasses uh sort of like what you would buy in different fragrances you know it puts it in one you've got floral you got powdery you've got cashmere warming they put it into one fragrance so for those that are collecting that maybe you don't want to buy a lot of bottles okay and you just want one fragrance that does this type of job then definitely that 265 or whatever this is worth would be definitely worth adding to your collection it would be worth buying if this one fulfills the powdery cashmere floral violet aspect if that does it for you guys and gals then definitely i think that 265 would be worth it because i mean a lot of people spend more than that with like several perfumes that miss the mark you know in the end they don't know what it's for you know they they, they barely wear it but in this case guys you know this one fragrance right here if it does the job that i sort of described to you guys then definitely get petalis de cashmere i think it will be great for the ladies to be honest i might buy one for my wife okay but this is this is really nice guys okay okay so that's it that is my review on fragrance dubois petalis de cashmere what do you think guys do you like this fragrance or not let me know in the comments below thank you again for watching and i will link some of my other fragrance dubois reviews at the end of this video so make sure you watch that guys if you are curious about fdb i know i haven't reviewed sahra oud that's my favorite from the brand but then again that could change because i do have the other ones new york intense london oud parisian i gotta go try all of those okay so until then guys thank you for watching again have a great weekend god bless take care have a great day